everybody my name is sandra welcome back to my channel today i wanted to show you this i'm going to call it a humongous haul because basically it is um this is after the long weekend so i live in canada we celebrated thanksgiving on monday october 10th today was the first postal delivery day so i got tons of things in the mail i was so excited and it all came in one day so i was like you know what i'm going to put all of these products in one big sticker washi tape haul and we're going to call it a major washi tape sticker haul okay so i'm really excited for this um i don't even know where to start first but i'm going to start closest to home i think so um now these stickers i've already put in this uh, sticker folder so this sticker folder I already had it from before it's not new but it is from simply gilded and I have purchased two more um, that are coming I can't remember I don't think I purchased a large one I think I had two small ones um, and maybe I'll quickly I'll show you one of the small ones that I use for my stickers so they fit um, if you order the munchkins from once more with love or let's plan it from calgary these little albums from simply gilded are the perfect size okay you guys um i actually had to get more because i ran out of room i still have quite a few in here and they just they're so good um i don't know why i didn't put one on the back of here but i do have basically every single okay i must have missed something here i don't know why what happened there but yeah, I do have almost every single back page here. So um, they're the perfect fit and they hold like so many and you could put more in them. I just like being able to view all of them. So I love these little albums, but the albums themselves are not new. I do have two new ones coming that are this size though. So you can see the difference in size. These are the large albums and these will actually fit all of the sticker kits I'm showing you today. So if I have room, in this one album i might just put them in here and i'm hoping that they fit um what i usually do i keep my sticker kits together so so far the only ones i've pretty much organized that are this size are my simply gilded ones you'll see one today that i have i ordered it special um it wasn't part of a monthly subscription although i do have simply gilded monthly subscription the first stickers i'm showing you um this is from the Prairie Planner. Now, she is out of Morden. Do I want to say Morden, Manitoba? Maybe. Um, anyway, it's Manitoba. <laughs> and it's closest to home for me. And this is called the Nutcracker Suite. So I love this. Now, when I first started ordering stickers, I was a Christian Design fan. I still am. I actually have a haul from uh, Kristen on the way as well. And the thing I like about those stickers is that they're vinyl. These stickers are not vinyl, okay? They are your regular matte paper. So I sell stickers in my shop as well. I do not have vinyl, but I do have different types of paper. Um, I offer the regular white matte paper, which is um, not repositionable. It's permanent once you set down the sticker. That is the cheapest paper that you can possibly buy, okay? Um, and then the quality goes up from there, depending on what type of finish you want. So the, the ink, um, tends to look like on shinier paper, like if it's a vinyl sticker, the ink just tends to pop more, I find. Um, but most of the sticker companies I've come across are usually printed on plain paper, but all of the kits I'm showing you with the exception of a few are mostly weekly kits. So the reason why I like this is I love the colors in this um, sticker kit. And so this is the first page. It's a decorative one. I did get all of mine to fit my Erin Condren. So it is a vertical standard. This is like a big washi tape strip and it just looks like this and it fits my Erin Condren perfectly. I've already kind of like took, taken a look at it. And then you get some weekly um, dates here. Okay, and then you've got your smaller boxes. That's page three, even smaller boxes, page four, even though the pages are at the top, but I'm counting them anyway. <laughs> this is um, kind of like your icons and your list. That's page five. And then I guess there's six pages. This is your smaller boxes with all of your um, lettering on them. 
So um, I really like this kit. I love the colors in it, but the Prairie Planner has so many different weekly kits. I will be purchasing more from her um, in the near future. I just wanted to, to say that because some of hers are so cute. She has this one called I think it's called cocoa or something and it's like red and green or a lot of red in it for christmas it's so cute okay so some other stickers i got from her as well these are not um, part of a weekly kit but they are cute so not this one this is a let's plan it this one here for pregnancy because you guys i am uh, seven months pregnant so i have this one it's just pretty much like a you um put all of these little icons down or whatever you want to call them okay and then i also got the meal plan one christmas countdown and the holiday bucket list because as we're you know you know we're approaching christmas time and yeah i really like this i think that's so cute okay so i'm going to put this back and then as i go through these kits i'm just going to pop them into this um, sticker album because I want to protect my stickers. So what we're going to do is start with the one from Germany. So now this is called Peaches and Pine Studio. I got five different kits from this, okay? The paper is the same quality, so it's regular um, matte sticker paper, permanent. I got, I uh, will start with this one. It's called Stylish Girl. Um, I did get a freebie as well here, so that's kind of cute. Very muted tones. Okay, and in this one, you seem to get a lot of sticker sheets, okay? Um, so the first one, you get your days of the week and a whole bunch of icons here. You get your washi tape strips and then your list stickers. Makes sense to me that the list ones are on the same page as the washi stickers. I don't know why. I just, I really, I like that a lot. I just want to see what it looks like here. Okay, so you have that one and then this kind of beige pinky one is separate. Okay. And then you have this one which has a few decorative boxes and then some uh, quarter boxes. Actually, these are not quarter boxes. They are small boxes. They're just all put together so you can just separate them. But you can just enter in your own text here. And then these are just like the headers. Those are really cute. Okay, then you've got um, full boxes along with some quarter boxes here. Again, the same thing, but some decorative at the top. Again, the same thing. <laughs> some full empty boxes. I like this because I tend to um, put these down and I like that there's a border around them. And then your decorative page. And then there's this little uh, small one here, which is kind of cute. I like that pop of green in the background too. So how many sheets did we get here? Let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sheets of stickers, you guys. So I would have to say, even though the paper quality is like the plain matte, that is an awesome deal. I think the sheets were like $18. So eight sheets for that price is amazing, okay? So we're going to pop this in my sticker album. That is so cute, okay? Next up is Chick Holiday. I love this one too. It's so cute. It's kind of like, I don't know, I feel like the color scheme of this is very similar. Okay, so that's kind of cool. You actually get a larger, smaller one, but it's got like all the different skin tones. That's so nice, what a nice touch. Okay, so it starts with your decorative page. I love this so much. I'm definitely gonna be using this for Christmas. Your full boxes. I think the color of this, I'm really attracted to the colors. This is so pretty, you guys. And I like that this is marble. 
and then some wording here and then some icons. Well, I wouldn't really wouldn't call these icons, but more decorative stickers. Okay, so let's, did I count eight there? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. And I'll put this one in front. So this is like one of my favorites so far. <clears throat> and like another thing too, these stickers, they came all the way from Germany and they came the same time as stickers from the States that I ordered. Uh, the ones from Manitoba came um, probably within a couple of days, but that was $4 shipping. So, I mean, I'm within Canada, so it didn't take that long, but usually in the States, they take about a week or two, um, depending. And these came all the way from Germany. Okay, so peaches and pines, cozy season. This is another really pretty color. <clears throat> so cute. I like the colors of these two. I like the fact that they are brown and blue. Brown and blue or brown and teal are, are always some of my favorite uh, color, color, um, colorways, I guess you'd call it. They're so cute. Very nice. Okay. The next one is holiday prep. I think this is a really cute one too. I don't know, there's something about the holidays. I just, I love all of these stickers. I can't wait to decorate my Erin Condren with these. And the thing is, in these kits, there are so many stickers that I'm gonna have more left over than I'll know what to do with. Like I definitely will not be using all of them. Okay, and then what I also do is at the, during the week that I'm using the stickers, I'll basically keep the kit in the back of my planner so that if something comes up, like I'll probably use all the decorative stickers. And then if something comes up, I'll just have some of the other ones to use, um, especially <clears throat> like the smaller boxes and stuff and the list stickers if I don't use them all. So I really appreciate that. And then whatever I don't use, I can just mis use mis mismatched later on. And then the last one from Peaches and Pine Studio is First Snow. So this one caught my eye because it did have some really pretty lavender tones in it. Okay, have it upside down. That's so pretty. It makes me wanna go get a coffee. <laughs> it's like really late at night when I'm filming this. Well, not really late at night, it's like nine o'clock, but I totally wanna get a coffee right now. I like the plaid on this one. It's so pretty. Adorable. I love it. Okay. So that's it from Peaches and Pine Studio. And uh, I mean, there's some great, great art here. So I would highly recommend. And um, I think I found Peaches and Pine Studio on Etsy. And I didn't know this, but I don't know if this is the same in the States, but if you're from Canada, at least you can use uh, Klarna. So Klarna is something kind of like Afterpay. So I guess in the States you'd use Afterpay or um, you probably have some other forms of payment, but if you don't have like a hundred dollars to spend all at once, you can break your payment up into four easy payments using Klarna or Afterpay. And then it makes your payments cheaper and you pay every two weeks. So, um, I paid like $28 every two weeks for, for my stuff that I ordered. And it's so easy to pay it off that way. So much more affordable. Okay. So those were those. And then before I get into the Cricut paper, post, 
stickers because I think they're probably going to be some of my favorites. I'm going to save those for last and I'm going to tell you guys some updates about that as well that I have coming. Um, let's get into my Simply Gilded haul. So I was going to do this one as a completely separate haul, but it did come the same day. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and add it into this one because we're still talking about stationery. There's still stickers and washi tape. Okay. So we'll go through the washi tape first. Now, this is when Irene did her release um, for the purple release, I guess is what you would call it. She released the Enchanted Forest remake. So if you guys haven't been around um, for Simply with Simply Gilded for that long, Irene used to have a different sticker kit model, I guess you'd call it. So she used to have like two large sticker sheets and then two small ones. And now she has one small one with date dots and icons, and she's got four large sticker sheets. She has downsized the size of the subscription boxes that you get every month. So it's got the stickers, a pen, the washi tape, and a journaling card usually, and that's it, before she would include special items. So she would have keychains, magnets, um, like actual sticker albums, um, and portfolios. But unfortunately, all that has kind of gone uh, down because um, cost due to rising shipping costs and stuff like that um, and just the way the market has gone so now um, and, and honestly like sometimes like when I first started out using washi tape I didn't have any good washi tape except from Michael's and it wasn't like the best quality and I find that Simply Gilded is probably the highest quality washi tape I've even like ever had even over Planners Anonymous I find that Planners Anonymous isn't as sticky and it comes off really really easily whereas uh, Simply Gilded is so good you guys um, everybody I watch on YouTube has Simply Gilded washi tape and so if you've never really tried it I recommend just picking up a couple um, just to see the quality like pick your favorite colors i have so many that i have downsized a couple of times and the first time i did i think i, I did a giveaway last year for christmas and um i got rid of so much washi tape <laughs> but uh, it was fun though kind of going through and sharing it too right so anyway these are the new ones i picked up the first one is this white pumpkin it's like this black washi tape, which I don't really have that many black washi tape so i'm really excited this is going to be perfect for halloween um, I do have Halloween washi tapes, but they're not, they're not black like this. It's got white pumpkins and it's so cute with this beautiful gold foil. Then there's this one. It's like the naturalist washi tape with these beautiful butterflies. So I could see myself using this in spring. There's this one. It's like witch's brew or something. Love it. They had a purple one too, but I just got the beige one. Like that book is my favorite. I like that one too, but they're so cute. Then this one is rose gold, and I think it's the peony one. So on this beautiful pink washi tape, I love a nice, a delicate floral that looks like this. The next one that was kind of like an individual singular one was this dragonfly washi tape. It's silver dragonflies, and the color in the background, it's like this um, pastel, not really pastel, it's like a watercolor wash. It's got green, purple, and blue, and teal. Favorite colors of mine, but I love that um, in the background, there's like white dragonflies. And then on top, there's a silver overlay. So gorgeous. I'll use that for spring too, or summer. Okay, and then getting into the purple haul here. So um, the purple uh, release, I guess, is what you'd call it. So I'm not really huge into scalloped washi tape, but these ones have this glitter underlay. <laughs> and I actually, I used a gold scalloped washi tape in my last plan with me, and I loved it so much. These are gorgeous, you guys. Like the, it's hard to see. Like I don't have natural light. It's just like my lighting, but they're scalloped. They're two different sizes. This is a 15 and maybe a 10. And then I got this one as well. It's also scalloped. This is a, I want to say a 20. And it's this rich, deep purple with, it's scalloped, but it has little heart cutouts in it, which is so cute. I'll see if I can show you. Um, my nails are not making this any easier here. Look how pretty that is. So nice. I love washi tape. <laughs> Can you tell? And then this beautiful um, foiled one as well. 
So, I mean, I purple, I, I, I'm purple. I love purple. Purple is my favorite color and I, I couldn't pass those up. Now this washi tape goes with the Enchanted Forest. So I do have one from last year. I'll show you that. Okay, so I did order two of these because I did not want to like not have them ever. So this one was rose gold and I think this is as well. I don't know if this one was available. Like I, I didn't see this type this year. I just saw this one. So it's kind of like a forest with like these pretty rose gold stars throughout. And there's a waterfall in there. And I think that's like a lake or something. Um, but then this one was the one from last year. And then she kind of remade it. So this is the new one from this year. I got two of this one as well because I knew like obviously how much I love these. So I'll show you the stickers I got. I got um, a couple of freebies that Irene sent. And I did order two of the Enchanted Forest because I knew how much I would love them. So I'll show you the freebies here quick. So there's a little bow seal. And then I got this dragonfly one, which is again, adorable. The haunted house, which is very seasonal, happy Halloween. And then this beautiful moon one. I love that. Okay. And then I got a free journaling card here. I kind of collect these. Sometimes I write on them and put them in. Like if I give away a gift or something, I'll write a little note here as a thank you. And then these guys, like, I'm not going to even say like, they're just adorable. I'm going to use them in one of my spreads for Halloween this year, I think. So cute. Okay. And then uh, my stickers came in this little kind of cute. I'm, I'm going to keep this. I usually don't, but this one's adorable. Um, It's plaid and it's purple. I love it. So I got two of these. I only opened up one for now, but this is the Enchanted Forest Kit. Love this so much. My favorite thing is the unicorn, okay? <laughs> I love purple and I love unicorns. That's my thing. Um, I just, I love this. It's so gorgeous. But you can see the washi tape from last year matches that butterfly or that moth or whatever it is. Okay. I love the color scheme here. You have four days of the week. You've got all of these boxes. Sometimes I wish that these had more hearts on them because I like to check them off. I have like a huge list every day. This is pretty much going to be like your top three. And then this is the last page. So you still get four sheets of stickers, but I, I just think these are absolutely beautiful. So I'll probably put those with my Simply Gilded stuff. And I can't wait to put my washi tape away because I... I just am a washi tape fanatic. <laughs> okay, last but not least. Well, technically it is. It's the last thing. These are my Cricut Co. Or Cricut Paper Co. stickers. So Cricut Paper Co. They are vinyl stickers as well. It is the only option. I think it's the only option available. Um, I should double check that because I'm not quite sure now. But I love vinyl stickers. They smell like vinyl. You literally can smell them and they smell different than regular sticker paper. They are higher quality. They are removable. You can pick them up and move them wherever you want to. Um, not quite like a window deck hell, but um, it's just nice because if you make a mistake, you can pick it up and move it somewhere. And they're so colorful. So even the ones that are more uh, muted tones, the colors are just gorgeous. They remind me of the Christian Design stickers. Um, I, Christian Design is my very first love, then Simply Gilded. So between those two, hands down, they've got to be my favorite. But I think Cricut Paper Co. is going to be my third favorite. So um, unfortunately, um, I can't remember her name now. I'm going to say Emily. I don't remember. Maybe it was Erica. They, her and her husband went through uh, Hurricane Ian, I think it was. They live in Florida and I think they're okay. They are having this thing called Cricket Miss. It's a cricket, cricket miss. Anyway, it starts on the 15th or 16th of October. I think it was a Saturday and um, it, quantities are limited and it's like $100, but I've never participated in it before. And I think I want to try. It's like $100 and you get like 24, 25 days of Christmas gifts. I'm not sure if it's just one package. I've never, I don't even know what it is, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> 
And I've already signed up for their monthly subscription because I know that I'm already in love with their products. So um, I'm going to go ahead. I think right now between October 8th and October 24th, they're not shipping out any new orders because they are doing this cricket mist thing. But uh, I am already in love. I took one look at these and I was like, hands down, love them. So a nice thing about this is at the bottom of the sticker sheet, it tells you what they are. And in my stickers that I personally make, sometimes, I think it was at the beginning when I first started making them, I would put what they were at the top right, and then my Cricut machine would cut it out. <laughs> or my Cricut, yeah, my Cricut machine would cut it out, and it made a big mess. So I just stopped writing it down. And now my description is only on my website or on my Etsy shop. But uh, I like that you can actually see the description of what these stickers are. Even Chrissy and Design, they have theirs at the top right. And they don't tell you what they are. It just tells you like the number so that you can find the sticker sheet again if you like it. Um, okay, so this first one is Fall Festival. I just had to smell them again because they smell so good. They smell like vinyl. It's interesting. Um, this is... Um, just the information to find them. So they have standalone website, cricketpaperco.com. And you can follow them on Instagram, Facebook group. Join the club, so the monthly subscription. Um, it's actually quite cheap. And if you live in the US, it's free shipping. So really, really good deal. But anyway, I like this. It says, let your light shine. I love that journaling card. I'd say it's a journaling card, but it's not really because of all this on the back. But I probably put that in my planner. I like that so much. Okay, so getting back to this kit. This I, I love these stickers, you guys. I, I just can't. I can't even. Um, okay, so the first one is your dates here. Your washi strips. Some blank stickers on the top. A decorative full box. And these ones you don't get as many. Like vinyl is really expensive, you guys. So you get five sheets. And these were like $20 a piece. So definitely a higher price tag. Um, but you do pay for quality. Okay, so these are interesting. I'm not used to this. But when I saw people using these, I'm not sure how I would use these actually. Because they're not a full box sticker. They're like, oops, I just took it off. I don't know how I would use this unless this is meant to be like, um, not a date cover. Because if you used them as a date cover and then you put these on top, it would completely cover it up. They're, I think they're just like a decorative header maybe. I'm not sure. But I like this where it says homework school. I really like that. Okay, and then you have some, oh, these are decorative headers too. That's so cute. I love the boxes. Here's your decorative sheet, fall festival. It doesn't really look as festival to me. I think fall festival would be more brightly colored, but I was kind of taken aback by this. And then this one I love. This reminds me of Chrissy and Design because of the weekend font. And then these, it just reminds me of that. And I love these. These are probably like one of my favorite things on here. So, so cute. But yeah, I'm going to put, I don't know which one I want to put on the front. I think I'm going to put this one on the front because I love it so much. And these are going to go straight in my, I think they fit. Oh, I hope they still fit. Maybe they don't. Oh, they don't fit. You guys are too big. I would have to cut off the bottom. And I don't know if I want to do that. But the good news, I don't know if this is good news or bad news because it means spending more money. They do have um, albums on their website as well. So that might be something I'll uh, get. Because if they don't fit in my Simply Gilded albums, I'm going to have to purchase something so I can put them together. Because I don't want to... I might just have to keep them in their plastic because I don't want to mix them up until I get a proper album or something. Okay, so that was Fall Festival. Then the next one we'll do is this one here. So this is White Pumpkin. This is probably my next favorite. Like I love this one so much. So like even the colors, at first, like look, look how beautiful that is. 
It's so pretty. I didn't think there was so much green in this one, but there is. There's quite a bit of green. Favorite sheet ever. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't mind this pattern. I think this is really pretty. But yeah, I did not expect it to be that green. I thought it was definitely more like white, maybe. I don't know. But I mean, the colors on here are beautiful. Okay. Um, the next one we'll do is Witchy Wonder. This one is also absolutely adorable love the color. I would probably use some of my purple washi tape with this one. <laughs> Those are so, so cute. Like spell book. Oh, love it so much. This is interesting. This is like your full moons and then your um, new moon and then your candles, which is kind of interesting. Again, I don't know how I would use these headers, but we'll have to play around and see. I first discovered these. Oh, I love this page. This is so nice. I like these cute little stickers. Um, I first discovered this on Cindy Gunthart Baldo's channel. So it wasn't even a new plan of thing. It was in quite an old one when she was still using Erin Condren. And she used one and it was like a purple, a bright purple one. And I fell in love. I was like, I need that in my life. But I think unfortunately they don't have any more of these. But these stickers are for sure, like, she's got a whole bunch of, like, um, summer ones that I think are being uh, discontinued. So I'm going to pick those up before they're gone, too. And this, this is one I'm actually using this week, guys. So if you want to see, oh, it's so pretty. If you want to see how I use this, check out my weekly plan with me. I think I'll have it posted this Friday. I was supposed to film it today, but the mailman came late today. So um, unfortunately, this video for my plan with me won't be up. It'll be up Friday, but I won't have it filmed until I'm thinking probably Thursday. So like, so, so cute. Like I cannot, I can't even. It's so cute. I love these colors. These are my types of colors. The bright, beautiful, bold gorgeous colors like oh my god the only thing that you have to be aware of like can we just take a minute here oh the only thing is you have to use permanent pens that is so cute legends of the fall hocus pocus practical magic mystic pizza october sky <laughs> you have to use permanent markers on these because they're vinyl so my favorite two go-to's are the secura microperm um, or the Sharpie Ultra Fine Pen because it's got a nice fine point. So those are the type of pens you need to use on these. Um, I'm pretty sure, I was saying, I think it was Simply Gilded. Um, on their stickers, it's pretty much the same thing. You need to use a permanent pen, but apparently ballpoint works. I have not tried ballpoint on these um, because I am not a fan of black ballpoint ink. There's something about black ballpoint ink that drives me crazy. I like blue ballpoint ink, but not black. Um, I'm, if I'm going to use a black pen, it needs to be a gel pen. So anyway, so I just wanted to share those with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I enjoyed looking through these stickers so much. I just realized I did not put my favorite one on top. Hold on. Hold the phone. There we go. I just want them all to be the same. Okay. <laughs> and I almost don't really want to use these. I want to like collect them all. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Please let me know in the comments what's your favorite. Like, do you have like do you even know Cricut Paper Co. exists? Because I did not until I watched Cindy's video, and now I'm just flabbergasted by all the colors, and I'm just so excited to get more. So please let me know if you enjoyed the video by giving it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, and last but not least, click on that bell notification so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And we will see you guys in my next one. Bye, friends.